Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a Friedman test in R. Um, I'll be using different packages for that, uh, just to show you uh, what might be possible. First, I need some data as an example, which I stored. Um, so I'll load that in as my data. I'll show you what that one looks like. It's uh, seven different variables and people rank this on a scale of one to five. I'm interested to know if any of these might be different. So this is uh, could be considered like uh, repeated measures because each person was asked the same uh, question about the same topic uh, multiple times, just different little elements of the teacher. Uh, let's go further. Um, some of these packages actually require almost all of them. Uh, I think that the data is actually switched to long version. So I'll first actually add an ID variable with uh, this command up here. So control enter uh, to store the new data under data2. And let's add the ID variable which will be uh, simply a sequence of integers. So enter that one and as you can see my data2 is actually now the same as my data1 but now it has an ID variable. Then um, a matrix might be useful, so uh, simply convert my uh, data ma dot matrix my data, and that actually creates uh, a matrix instead of a data frame. And you need the uh, package reshape two. Uh, I already installed it, so I'm only going to load the library now, and then. Uh, I can convert my data long using the melt option, my data to, and the ID variable is that ID. And what this does, I'll show you, that's probably easier, is once I've loaded it in, my data long, as you can see now for each person, it has the variable and then the value, and then each person will actually appear uh, seven times for each variable once. Now, to finally do that uh, Friedman test, there's none in, um, in base to my knowledge, so you can use, for example, the stats package. You need to install it first, and then uh, load it in. And then you can either use the matrix, or uh, you can use the Friedman test my data long, and then specify the value, uh, then uh, the variable, and then the ID variable. So, in my case, uh, Friedman test my matrix, as you can see, the result is 49, um, there are 7 variables, minus 1 equals 6, and it's far below the 0.05 threshold, so most people would consider this significant, so there are some differences. Now, of course, this one should give me the same result, and as you can see, they're both the same. Um, you can also use the Agricole package, um, install it first if you have never done that before, then load it in. And then you can use the ID variable first, then uh, what defines the different groups, and then their scores, and make sure you set console to true. And if you load that one in, uh, you get quite a lot of more information. You can also get the sum of the ranks, and if uh, it actually doing a postdoc analysis using LSD, uh, least significant difference, I think that is. Uh, but what we're looking for is the Friedman test, uh, which is adjusted for ties, 49.78, and again, the same significance. You can also use the coin package, so uh, install packages coin, and then load it in, and then um, actually you need an ID variable uh, there uh, that needs to be changed to factor, so let's do that, and then actually load the Friedman underscore test, so this one, and in there you see the same one. Now there is one other one I wanted to show you. I had some trouble installing the package SC uh, MAMP, so I had to do uh, actually all of this because these didn't really work well, but after I've done this, which took quite some time, I finally was able to actually uh, get the package. And then you can do multiple comparison tests and then make sure you set it to Friedman. And this one will show you a different result, 27.97, which is actually the um, test value unadjusted for toys. So there you go. I'm still working on how to perform the different postdoc analysis, but I'll save that for later. Um, so a few different ways of actually getting the same results.